Hi friends, welcome back. Today we're gonna to be talking about the interpretation of equations. And this is our first example here. Uh, Henry places X number of marbles into an empty bucket. Each marble has the same weight. The weight in ounces of the bucket and the marbles can be calculated using the expression 3X plus eight. What does the eight represent? Make sure you guys grab your notebooks because I'm gonna give you some, uh, some notes that I think are gonna be handy for interpreting equations, especially linear equations like this one. So uh, you may be familiar, we're gonna come back to that question in just a second, but you may be familiar with y equals mx plus b. This is our slope intercept form of a line. Uh, if you are familiar with it, you may have heard of, uh, if you may, you may remember it as our, our m is our slope and our b is our y intercept. But when we're talking about word problems, we can actually use this information to our advantage. What we can say is that the M is gonna be our slope or our rate of change. That's the rate. Uh, when you hear the word rate, you wanna think per, something per something else, like uh, 65 miles per hour, that would be a rate. So we're gonna go back and we're gonna consider that word per when we go back and read this. Now for our B, you may have heard of that as our Y intercept, but it is also our fixed amount or our starting amount when it comes to word problems. You may wanna write this information down. I think you will find it handy. So that's gonna be our fixed amount. Often what we see is uh, something, so this is gonna be our changing amount and this, this will be our fixed amount. A good example of this would be, let's say you have to pay uh, $10 for a movie membership every month. No matter what, you have to pay $10. And then you pay a dollar per, per rate, per movie. That Situations like that where you have a fixed amount and you have a changing amount are often represented by linear equations. And so when I say fixed amount, I'm meaning, in that case, the $10. So let's talk about that. We come back up here and we look at the marble question, right? So we know that he has a bucket uh, and he's putting marbles in and the marbles are all the same weight. What we don't know right here is that he has X number of marbles. So that's what we don't know. We do know that if he has one marble, we're going to multiply it by the weight. If he has two marbles, we're gonna multiply it by the weight to get the total weight. So we look at this and we go back to our, our representation of our slope and our starting over fixed amount. So that means that this guy is gonna be our fixed amount. And if we consider the marbles, the bucket and all of that, that's gonna be the bucket. The bucket's not changing. Uh, the weight of the bucket itself does not change. So that's gonna be our fixed amount, our bucket. Now, we know that X represents the number of marbles. Number of marbles. We are multiplying the number of marbles by three. That must mean that each marble weighs three ounces because if we have one marble, we're gonna multiply it by three. If we have 10 marbles, we're gonna multiply it by three and get 30, and so we have 30 ounces. Uh, so that is, uh, if we wanted to use the word per here, each marble uh, weighs is per, uh, I should say, it is three ounces per marble. And so that would be our rate. So what does that eight represent? That's our fixed amount. So that is gonna be the weight of the empty bucket. The weight of the empty bucket. Hopefully you found this helpful. If you have any questions, let your teacher know. Otherwise, we will see you next time.